Colden is a striving outback town in central Queensland. The railway station and the Tree of Knowledge played a big part in the Australian political history and is celebrated in the Australian Workers Heritage Centre close by. When the station was built, no one would have thought about the importance the tree out the front would have in history. In 1887, the uh, Carriers Union was formed underneath this tree, and that year also the Shears Union was formed down the road of Black Hall. In 1889, the Pastoral Employers Association was founded to try to bring the union to heel. And in 91, the Shears strike began and ended. And in 1892, the Queensland Labour Party read its manifesto and it's this tree. The tree was officially named the Tree of Knowledge in 87 in preparation for the centenary and in 2006 someone poisoned the tree. It was taken away and treated and the memorial was opened in 2009. This photograph taken just before it was poisoned shows it had lost some growth since the previous photographs that had been taken in 1937. After the poisoning, the tree was treated and then replaced in its original spot, and the wood hanging down actually defines the old canopy shape. A short walk down the street is a memorial to the 13 union leaders who were charged with sedation and conspiracy and sentenced to three years in jail. Interesting that uh, three of them later became Labour members of Parliament. Next to this is a large wind pump. Now these wind pumps helped open up the outback by pumping water up from the bores. Across the road is the Australian Workers Heritage Centre and this consists of several buildings showing displays across the five and a half acres. One of the top items in the garden is this offspring of the Tree of Knowledge, known as the Youngin. One building, and this is the oldest union office and hall in Australia. The Labour House contains a collection of items relating to the history of Labour in politics. And there is a collection of newspaper cartoons from the worker. I have some doubts about whether these may be PC enough for these days. There is also a collection of photographs of uh, state and federal labour representatives. The old post office is the start of honouring the various worker groups. Now, do you remember these old stamp machines? There was also a lovely model of a Cobb and Coke coach. Power workers, of course, have always been important, from the Snowy River men to the power companies and to a husband and wife team who ran this generator. There are two exhibition blocks honouring workers and women throughout the years. It also highlights some Australians that have made groundbreaking discoveries, some of them getting Nobel Prizes.
already mentioned is Grace Munro, who founded the Country Women's Association. This display also had a couple of old Union banners. Another building has its old emergency service display. And then we come to the police watch house. There's also a old one teacher school. This reminds me a bit of my primary school days. The mobile theatre used during the bicentennial celebrations is now becoming a large display area. I'm looking forward to when it's have all its new displays put together. It has currently a really good photo display. This railway station was moved here in 1991 and tells the story of railway workers. Now this whole exhibition is well worth a visit. <laughs> 